Hey guys, HW. As you can see, I've just entered the Govett Street gates at Centennial Park. It's late in the afternoon, the sun's going down. Ramic races were on today. Saw all the punters, and this time I can say the real punters, walking out of the racetrack. Some of them looking happy, walking tall. Others looking not so happy. we have done their backsides on the races. So Centennial Park. Delightful big park in Sydney. Really Sydney Central Park in the New York style. We do have Hyde Park which is probably looks a bit more like it because of all the skyscrapers around it but it doesn't have the size. Centennial Park does have the size. It's got some lovely walking tracks. You can come here cycling, you can horse ride, you can have something to eat, you can walk through the beautiful gardens, there's sporting fields where you can play footy, soccer, touch footy, hockey, whatever sport you can think of. And even now, as we head up to Din Din times, or dinner time, there's a lot of joggers and walkers going around the white picket fence which frames the centre of Centennial Park but that's not where I'm going to walk today I'm going to walk around the outside of Centennial Park along this track that I used to come to every day when I lived in Coogee when I was a fanatical runner I used to jump in my old man's car and come down here not just once a day, twice a day. I'd come in the morning and the afternoon. And around the outside, that still wrought iron fence that you see there that's made of sandstone and, and wrought iron. Um, if you go around the outside there, which is what I used to do, or on this path here, I think it's around about 7Ks, 7 kilometer run around the outside here and I'm not going to bore you by talking along this whole path I'll only I'll, I'll actually speed up the film at different points and then stop at significant points along the way I'm risking my health here walking through this long grass there's bound to be some snakes in this grass but I wanted to point out this house across the road so through oh, I'll walk a bit closer to the fence but that lovely big federation two-story home you see across the road there that's where my mate Patrick used to live his parents bought that house back. So have you ever seen this film, Patrick? There's your old house, mate. I think he lives in the US now. I think he lives close to the Apple head headquarters in, I think they, what do they call it, Cupertino. But we went to school together around here and I stayed in that house a few times. So it's very nostalgic for me walking through here. Look at all the grass seeds that I've got on my shoes now. See? Bloody long grass. We'll start the normal speed film again under the shade of this lovely big fig tree as we make our way down the path along Slide Dali Road used to love jogging along here in the mornings and the afternoons these birds you can hear squealing in the background a black cockatoos
Oh, and also there's some there's some galahs. That's a galah, that one. So I don't know whether my microphone's picking it up, but there's a bunch of crickets starting to chirp now as the sun starts to go down. All the way along Dali Road near Centennial Park you have big federation big federation homes like that one and the one that I filmed before and the whole area used to be like that back in the uh, 40s and or 30, 20s, 30s, 40s and then they pulled most of them down and turned them into units so all through Randwick now where you see all the units and you others over there might like to call condos they used to be grand old houses once upon a time nice federation homes but it's all been torn down so it's only ones around in certain pockets and areas around Centennial Park that you'll still find them Just here, it's the entrance to Clovelly Road. This is Musgrave Road gates here. And that's Queen's Park over there. Across the road, Queen's Park. And if you head up this way, get up to Ramwick Junction. So I'd come running here and skip through these two bollards here by flipping my body sideways. Because I used to go at a great pace back in those days when I was younger and I could run. section that we're coming up to up here clearing up here come here any day of the week they're usually training dogs it's a dog training area so everybody brings their pooches down in the morning and the instructor comes out and teaches them how to walk the dog and get them to sit and stop and all that sort of stuff Look at this guy, he's doing a bit of graphics work in the park. So yeah, this clearing just here. This is where you'll see them training their pooches. It's one of those white colours. I don't know whether you can see, but there's a whole bunch of them perched on that tree just there. 
It is definitely getting late because the bats are starting to appear in the sky as well. Given how dark it is just here, the film's probably going to look a bit shaky through here. But we'll get out into the light again when we get up the top of the hill. These mountain bikers aren't really supposed to be riding through here. Well, this area they've been trying to regenerate for decades. And it's not what you think. It's not all eroded from people on bikes and runners. It actually got eroded a long time ago. Because people used to ride their horses through here. I used to see them all the time when I was driving on that road just there. That road just there. And across the road there's the Mariah College, which is a Jewish school. But that used to be vacant land and uh, people used to ride their horses through there as well. So it's never recovered. Probably going to run out of daylight so I'm not going to be able to do the whole circumference of the run that I used to go on but I'll uh, stop at a few places along the way anyway
I've just here but I call these the York Street gates because that's York Street out there Can you see the bats silhouetted up in the sky there, flying through? So I didn't say before, today was another hot day in Sydney, 30 degrees Celsius. We've had a real stretch of that and it's going to continue on for the next week. Down south in Adelaide and Melbourne, they've been getting absolutely scorched. They're in the high 30s. So like they're getting like 37, 38 degrees Celsius every day. They're suffering. It's a long weekend down there this weekend too. For the Labor Day weekend. So they'll be all down at the St Kilda Beach Pier probably. In Port Phillip Bay swimming around trying to avoid the Noahs in the water getting up towards the top of the park here can you see all the punters in there on their purple bean bags this is the Moonlight Cinema in Centennial Park that operates during the summer months Try to film over the fence for you. There's a little amphitheater there and they've got a big inflatable screen set up. I hope you can see the screen on the on the camera. Now I just heard over the loudspeaker they're playing the Princess Bride there tonight. That'll give you a better view of the screen and the airport in the background or Botany Bay. In the background over there, the airport. So that's the way that it faces, faces south. All right, we've made it up into Oxford Street now. There's Oxford Street. There's a border Centennial Park, and we're walking past one of the big reservoirs now. That's the top of the reservoir. Underneath, there's big caverns. That occasionally they open up to the public and you can actually do a tour of them. I'll have to keep a keen eye on that next time they empty the water out and and have a tour through there I might try to sneak in there. See this cycle track here wasn't here when I used to come jogging around the park. So that's a new addition. I'm heading up to this other part of the reservoir up here to uh, tell you a little bit of a story. So up at the top just here, there's all these playing fields. They play soccer up here and hockey and I used to come up here to play what's called Oztag, which is a type of uh, touch footy where you have the little Velcro, Velcro straps on your hips or off your, off your hips and uh, rather than be, be, t be tapped they've got to rip those velcro straps off and that counts as a tackle it means you've ta been tackled and you've got to stop play and, and play the ball now what's significant about this field is when I used to come up and play and I used to play with, with one of my um, uh, old workplaces they had a team in the, in the comp anyway I came up here one one afternoon after work and we're warming up on this field just here and uh, 
we were wondering who we were going to play because there was nobody in my team that had the uh, the uh, what's the the program up to see who we were playing, and it turned out I think we were like warming up just here, and just on the other side there, where that fence is, half of the half of the old retired Sydney Roosters rugby league side was warming up there, and. Uh, I almost crapped my pants. I thought, oh no, we're not playing them, are we? Because I was expecting like to, to get beaten 100 nil. But uh, luckily it turned out that uh, they were just happened to be warming up at that end of the field and they were playing a different team. So that was a real phew moment, that one. But yeah, if you come here during the week, you'll see the Oz tag being played and and then on the weekend you see kids hockey matches and and soccer matches as well the soccer matches more the ones that I've seen up here anyway are more social ones I haven't really seen any competition ones this magpie here trotting along sun setting fast in the background now I'm gonna to have to get on my skates to get to the next spot I'm not going to be able to do the whole park as I as I as I had hoped so you'll have to forgive me there face the camera back towards uh, Bondi Junction as we get across the park here getting low on battery as well so I'm gonna to have to um, when I get down to the next spot I'm gonna to have to change the battery around but it's quite pleasant now that the Sun's going down it's a nice cool breeze blowing as I walk across the old playing fields that I used to trot around on Jeez, I even think I ran up and down these stairs once upon a time as well. Until I came to my senses and realised what running races are there, apart from crazy ones where people run up the Empire State Building, what running races do you know, either fun races or marathons, where there's stairs? That's right, there isn't any. So don't bloody run upstairs. All right, here we are. Just sitting above, I think it's called Grand Drive. Down here, that follows the picket fence around Centennial Park. And we've got the old battle cannons either side of us and the Wee One statuette here. All signifying the, the wars that we fought in and, uh, and won. It mostly against the Germans, I think. But that um, that's called the Centennial Homestead over there. That complex over there, it's basically a big uh, restaurant. And that gazebo on the side there, I can see a, a reception in there now. There must be a wedding reception in there tonight. But during the day, you can sit out there where those wine casts are there and have a have a nectar. But this is as good a spot as any to see the sun go down. We'll watch all the cyclists puffing and pedalling away down there. See people walking their dogs. See people jogging, jogging up a sweat. Certain days 
I can't remember what what Sunday it is, but there's a there's a Sunday. I think it's the first Sunday of the month. I'm I might be wrong. That they don't allow cars in the park, and that's quite a delightful day to come. But most times they do allow cars in the park, so the cyclists have to get in scraps with the cars sometimes. All that area down there that you see is all playing fields as well. So you come down on the in the weekdays and there's even some Oztag games down there. But then on the weekend there's there's anything from Aussie rules games to soccer games to rugby league matches played down there on those fields. Okay, there's a Qantas jet above us. Just taking off from the airport. Probably heading up the coast. Flying the punters up to the Gold Coast, no doubt. Better get moving. Have to get back to the cargo to go right over the other side of the park over there. But it's a bloody big park, Centennial Park. If you do come and visit Sydney, I recommend you get your carcass down here. It's not far from the city. It's only 10, 15 minute drive. Oh, there's spider webs in the cannon there. I wonder what delightful spiders in there, living in there. Might be a big bird eating spider. Comes out at night and hunts the little finches around here. Check my back pocket. Show my spare. GoPro battery and car keys are still there. Oh, so it's a shame we didn't get around to the other side. I wanted to show you the um, one of the keeper's houses. One of the ranger's huts, I suppose you'd call it. But we just don't have time. The sun's going down quick. Still a few punters having picnics on the grounds. Just here. This is the horse track. So during the day oh, you can see some horse crap just there. Maybe you can make it out on the film. Oh look there goes the ranger's car there now. But yeah this is the horse trotting track here. So you'll see the horses run around here during the morning mainly late afternoon. They're all back in their stables in um, Moore Park now. But believe it or not, along this track, or this little horse track, but I think on the other side of the park, not on this side, uh, the great Australian movie Farlap, there was a scene filmed from Farlap along this track. Where uh, they train a the horse to, to gallop and work up a bit of speed but I'm pretty sure it was on the other side of the park close to the Ramic race course and I'm not going to make it over there in time and here's the other path that you can take so you can take the inside of the picket fence so you see a lot of people run, jogging along here and then some jog on the horse track and then some jog, jog on that um, concrete path there and then some people used to run around the outside like I, I used to do like I was hoping to film today these people down here playing that Irish sport what do they call it? is it called curling? is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called
Look at all the bats in the sky there now. Oh, here's one. This one's coming pretty close. Landing up in the tree to get a fig in its gob. I often talk about watering the horses when I'm walking around or well, just here in the old days you could actually water the horses here this old horse trough here so this is as good a spot as any as the sun's almost gone and grab the silhouette of the Sydney cricket ground in the background over there and the steeples of some of the buildings of the Moor Park the old where the old Royal Easter show used to be before it moved out to Homebush and I'll say goodbye to you. Thanks for coming a little skirt around Centennial Park today. Apologies again that I got here so late. And so I could only really do probably about a third of the park. There's another two thirds to go. So until next time. The video is over. Oh wait a minute, I forgot to talk about something. So as beautiful as Centennial Park is, it does have some hidden secrets as well. Or well, some secrets, some no, not so secret. There has been a few deaths in the park. Both murders, accidents and tragic. But you, I'll leave that for you to look up in Google yourself. Look up murders and deaths in Centennial Park, Sydney. And you can have a read about some of the goings on in the underworld of Sydney. Jeez, look at all those bats up there now. See you next time.